One. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ashley Wheeler, and I'm so happy to have you all here today for our How to Lead Addendum session. So today's course is only going to be about a half day. And before we really get into it, I wanted to go over a few of the topics that we're going to hit on during this period. So after this intro, we're really going to look into how fit, style, and a needs analysis are all vital aspects to performing an effective denim fitting. Then we're going to break for about 10 minutes and then come back for a role play. During your break, I want you to know that if you go out those front glass doors, go to your right, the bathrooms are down the hall. The code for women is 25 and for men it's 41. Also our break room is right down the hall too. And we have an assortment of soda, coffee, tea, donuts, bagels, a lot of stuff and it's all for you. So please take advantage of it. Now I teach this course because I have over six years of luxury denim sales experience. I have also worked on a project for putting together as well as implementing a custom denim option, mostly geared to MLB and NFL athletes who have a lot of trouble fitting jeans. So I really know a lot about how denim fits and how you can adjust areas of a jean to make it fit for you. So before we begin, how many people in this room have denim sales experience by a show of hands? Nobody? How many people have shopped for jeans? Okay. How many people have gotten frustrated shopping for jeans? Just about everyone, except for this lucky man up front. <laughs> now, I, before we really begin, I want to do a quick exercise. You said that you all have gotten frustrated trying to find a pair of jeans that fit. What are some of those pain points? Can you start chatting them out? Too tall. You're too tall. Okay. The length. Length. Waist. Size. When your weight fluctuates a lot, it's hard to. Yep. Too baggy, too, too tight. The behind area. Okay. Any other ones? How about women? Do you ever know anybody who has trouble like with a gap in the back? Yeah. Or what about the ones that they're not high enough in the back? You constantly have to be pulling them all over. The reason I wrote all these down is because we're going to be touching on them in different parts and hopefully by the end you're going to know how to identify each of these problems and fix it with the right fit. So going into our objectives, we really have three main objectives. By the end of this course, you will be able to understand the different components of fit. You will understand the different areas of style and how each customer's style will be different. And you're also going to learn the difference between fit and style. Then finally, by the end, you're going to be able to perform your own needs analysis with your customer and fit them for the perfect pair of jeans. So what is fit? Fit is the core component of a pair of jeans. I like to describe it to cars. Say you have various models of cars. You have your sedan, your CRV, SUV, pickup. You take off all the extras, all the visually um, compelling aspects of it. You take away the color, you take away the interior design, the gadgets inside, and all you're left with are four types of cars, metal, wheels, seats, and a steering wheel. Nothing more. They all do what they're supposed to do, but if you sit in each of those cars, one is going to feel like it's more for you than the others. The same is with jeans. When people shop, they shop based on what they see. Oh, I like that, or I like that. They're shopping on style. They're not shopping on fit. Fit is like the model of the car that you choose before you add the extras. It's what feels right for you. So there's three major areas of fit. They are the front rise, will rise in general. So this is your front rise. This is your back rise. Not having a proper back rise is what leads to that problem. Then you have waist. And has anyone seen that Kellogg's commercial where all the women are going into try on different jeans and they don't have sizes on them? Has anyone seen that? Mm -hmm. Yep. I love that commercial because waist, when it, in terms of fit, it does not relate back to the number. It relates to the waistband the size of it and how it's constructed. A proper waistband will help with the gap. 
It'll help with discrepancies between the thigh and waist. Proper waistband will solve a lot of these issues for women. Now finally, the thigh. The thigh area is especially important for men. In fact, with men, even though there's three areas of fit, the thigh is a major component that can fix these other problems. You don't have issues with your waist. You have the improper thigh. Changing the area of the thigh to fit your needs is going to make everything else work better. Same with women. The proper thigh combined with the proper waist is all going to work together. Now length, as we'll see later, is more of a style aspect than necessarily a fit. So for men, like I said, it's mostly the thigh. Men are cut very straight. They're straight through the waist, through the hips, through the thighs. The only area that really fluctuates all that much with men is whether or not they have thinner thighs or if they're more athletic. So Bill, when you said that you have that issue, when you, you have more athletic thighs, I'm guessing, you played a lot of sports? Yes. They're built up. Now there's a couple different fit names that I like to call them. So the first is your Slim Steve. This guy likes everything very fitted through his hips and his thighs. He has a 24 inch opening in the thigh. Regular Randy, on the other hand, is that in between. He doesn't like it too slim, he doesn't like it too relaxed. He's going to be seen about a 25 inch thigh opening. Then you have your relaxed Ryan. Now, side note, 70% of your men customers are going to go for relaxed Ryan because it's comfortable. It still look, gives a nice silhouette, not as tailored as the Slim Steve but it still hugs their body nicely while still providing that added comfort in the thigh. Now for your athletic guys, you want more of that relaxed Ryan, but did you know you can go up so you can still have that relaxed look, but add an extra half inch in the thigh. So instead of 26 inches, you choose a waist that has a thigh opening of 26 and a half. When you have a man and he's size 32, don't go up to a size 33 because it's a too tight in the thigh. Put him in another size 32 with a 26 and a half inch opening and it'll solve your problems. Finally, it's Loose Larry. He likes it baggy and this really isn't a fit that most people gravitate towards anymore. Now for women, it's the same thing. You have three major fits. Your slim cell is narrow. So from the waist in through the hips and thighs, it's going to be a narrow V-shape type of cut. Then you have your regular Rachel. She is very similar to a boy cut, and it's very straight from the waist, through the hips, through the thighs. And then finally, you have your curvy Chloe. She has a smaller waist, and it eases out. So she has a little bit of butt. It's going to hug it nicely without feeling too tight. Now, once you identify the overall cut for your female, there are more options. So unlike men, where it's like you find the right cut, and you end it there, this, you're going to have to go into different sections. So first, you have to define the proper waist. Hello, welcome. If you could just take a seat, that'd be great. So just to recap, we've gone through fit, just a little bit now. We've gone through the men's fit, and now we're going to go into more of the women's. So after you've defined their overall cut, define the waistband. If a woman doesn't complain about issues with the waist, then most likely she's a regular waistband. However, Say it fits really nice in the thighs, fits nice in the butt, they button, they look great, but she says it's a little too tight, go for a comfort waistband. It's two inches wide. So remember how I said it's about the width, it's about the construction? A comfort waistband is two inches wide versus a one inch regular and has no upper stitch. That upper stitch is what holds it in. You take that out, you give her room to breathe. You make her more comfortable. Now. If you have a woman who is really good, has that gap really bad, or has a really small waist in comparison to her hips, then go with a contour waistband. It's going to be two inches still, but it's going to have both the top and the bottom stitches. So it's going to hold it in. It's going to hold in her waist while still giving her the room that she needs for her hips, her, for her hips and her thighs. Then you come to rise, and like I said, these three areas, they're going to differ between each of your customers. Not all are going to require specific fits in each of them. Rise happens to be more of a preference, except when you have them too low. 
Then you increase the back rise. Find a gene with a higher back rise. Other times, it's just going to be personal preference. So you're ultra low, you're low, you're mid, and you're high. That you can change based on what you feel comfortable in. So as a recap, we've gone over all the aspects of fit. What are the three components of fit? Bill. Your um, waist. Waist. Thighs. Thighs. Fries. 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 And you said thighs? Yes. Okay. All of three. <laughs> it's tricky when they sound yeah. like. So that's great, guys. Now moving forward, we're going into your style. Style is much different than rise, uh, or much different than your fit, as we've described. But fit is part of the component. So your style equation is going to be your combination of your fit, the leg opening you choose, your wash plus your finish. That is your style. That's the car once you've added on the paint, the interior, all the gadgets. So what is leg opening? Leg opening is how wide this is. Now here's a few tricks. When trying to determine or trying to convey to a customer the difference in leg opening, fold it up to the knee. Everything is related to the knee. Skinny leg is going to taper in from the knee. And that can vary. It can be extremely tight where it's hugging your ankle or it can be just a little bit looser. Now keep in mind, all of these fits, even the flare, are for both men and women. It all depends on your preference. Straight will always eat, if you have a five inch bottom opening and it's a straight leg jean, you're gonna have a five inch knee opening. Boot cut is going to extend outwards between one to two inches. And then finally your flare is for the girl that wants more of a dramatic bottom opening or even a man who has bigger boots that he wants them to cover. Because that's gonna extend greater than two inches from the knee. So that's how you determine and that's how you can describe leg opening to your customer. Now what about finish? What's great about finish is that this is something that you can just present to your customer different options and let him or her choose. It has to do with the wash, the stitch, the destruction, the hardware. So let's do a little experiment. Tasha, what fit do you think you would prefer? Regular. The regular? Okay. So great. So now if I'm trying to present wash options and style options to Tasha, I'd be like, okay, Tasha, so I know that you love that regular fit. I want to show you what options they come in. You can have something as dramatic as a stitch like this, which is a little bit of whiskering detail at the back of the knee. We have leather detailing and great hardware aspects on this piece. Tons of great whiskering and fading throughout the knee, and more of a medium to um, dark wash. Then finally, we have more of a classic. It's a really dark wash. It has a little bit of a contrast stitch, but not much variation in the color itself. Or then finally, we have slight destruction. It's a medium, lightish wash, some fading in the leg, but not much, and it's got a nice stitch that's very similar to the fabric itself. So it doesn't stand out as much. You can present her with options. You can show her the details. And then, Tasha, which one would you pick? I like the, that one. This, this one. one? Yes. And you let her choose. That's what's great about the details. It's all about what you see and your, what you are attracted to. It doesn't require a lot of knowledge beforehand. You let your customer take the lead on that part. So to recap, we've hit on fit, and now we've gone through style. So what is the equation of style? Fit, wash, leg opening, stitch, destruction, the finish, okay. how it's finished. Great, guys. So moving on, how do you choose the perfect pair? What's awesome about this is that, again, it's a lot of qualifying questions. With this, you're going to ask them, so what struggles? The same question I posed to you, what are your pain points? understand where they're struggling to fit their jeans. You're gonna get a list similar to that, and now you can map it back to the right fit. Next, 
Ask them about their rise. Which rise do you prefer? Which do you feel most comfortable in? Then you move into more of the style aspects. Ask them about the leg opening. Ask them about the wash that they prefer or the finish that they prefer. Do they want a back pocket? Do they not want a back pocket? Ask them all of these questions. Now before we move on to break, I want you to think about all the questions that you could ask your customer about how their jeans fit, how they want them to fit, so that when we come back, you can role play with those questions. But real quick, one last recap. I'm gonna give you some dimensions and I want you to tell me which jean it is. So listen carefully. You have a waist of two inches with no upper stitch, a rise of eight inches. It's more of a straight cut through the hips and thighs and it has a five and a half inch knee opening and a seven and a half inch bottom opening. And it's a woman's jean. Comfort boot cut. Comfort boot cut. What type of overall cut is it? Regular. 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 Perfect. And then what type of rise? It's an eight inch rise. Mid. Mid. Awesome, guys. You guys are doing so great. Um, we're going to take our break now. Please go think of your questions and then come back in 10 minutes and we can start on our role plays. Great. Oh, um, so I'm glad that you guys... Oh, real quick. I have a couple other quiz questions for you. So as far as the brand effect, how is that cut? Regular. Yes. Regular Randy. Regular Randy. <laughs> so what does that mean though? As far as the thigh opening is concerned. 26 and no. You're talking about relaxed Ryan now. Jeez. 25. 25. 25. <laughs> great, great. Now as far as we talked about Rachel. Rachel has that straight fit. What about Curdy Chloe? What type of fit is that? What would you use to describe it? One word. Relaxed. Uh, not relaxed. Oh, it's curvy. Yeah, it's curvy. curvy. But it's not going to go out directly. It's going to be it's more of a straight and ease. Oh, it's ease. an ease fit. Yeah. You guys okay. almost had it. So I think we've gone over a lot of the questions that you're going to be posed as far as your denim fitting is concerned. So now let's take our break in order to reconvene in 10 minutes and we're going to start our role plays. So think of your partners, think of your questions and get ready to have fun.